Hey everybody, today we are going to take a look at our brand new patent pending product for the Huben GK1 from Huben 3D Parts. So what we have here is the Unimount optics plate. So this is an optics mount for a red dot or reflex sight like you can see here. Uh, this is made specifically for the Huben GK1 and we call it the Unimount because it is a universal fit. So it will work with any version of the GK1 from the V1 all the way up to the V3. And right away you'll notice the form factor. So our goal when designing this particular version of an optics mount was to keep the form factor as small as possible with the GK1. You can see it fits very well to the top back of the rear of the block here. And one thing that is new for us with this particular product is this is made from polycarbon infused with carbon fiber. So a couple advantages when we chose this material type, uh, polycarbonate with carbon fiber has a very, very high heat resistance. Also, this is known to be a very stiff and very strong filament. So this paired perfectly with this particular design. Um, and so what we're going to do here is show you actually how to install this on your GK1. And uh, that should about do it for this video today. So I'm going to get this guy out of the way. So let me get this put up here. I'm going to grab our bench GK1, put that there. So when you order the Unimount, you will receive two bags for the Unimount. So of course, one has the Unimount itself, and inside of there, you'll have the mount and then also one countersunk screw. Uh, you will need this countersunk screw for installation, so don't lose track of that. I'm going to put this guy right down here. And you can see here, we've got the Unimount itself. Uh, so this right here is the RMR pattern. Uh, we do plan on offering up, uh, you know, all the patterns that we do right now with our other version optics mounts. Uh, so we will have the doctor mount, uh, the shield pattern, uh, the modified shield pattern for the hollow sun and then the Leupold uh, Delta Point Pro. Uh, but initially on launch, we'll just have the RMR available, but the other ones will follow up very, very soon as far as that's concerned. So I'm going to put this guy to the side. Also, you will receive a bag of mounting screws for your optic. Now, depending on what optic uh, pattern type that you choose, when you purchase your Unimount, uh, you'll receive between one, two, three sets of screws. And again, that is just dependent on the pattern type uh, that you need for your particular optic. A couple tools that you'll need for installation. Uh, you will need a two millimeter Allen key or hex driver. Additionally, you will need a flat, small, uh, you know, or I should say small flat bladed screwdriver. And let's get right to it. Uh, so the first thing that you'll need to do is we will end up removing the rear sight itself on the GK1. Uh, for the installation of this product, we actually chose to leave the rear sight mount in place. Uh, the reason for that is the rear sight mount, it's only secured by this little tiny small diameter pin. Uh, it is not fun to knock this guy out. Uh, and like I said, it's small diameter, so easy to lose track of, easy to bend or break. Uh, so we chose to leave the rear sight mount mount install. Uh, but I'll walk through the process of removing the rear sight itself and then it's really quick to get the unimount attached to your GK1. So first thing you'll need to do is grab that two millimeter Allen or hex uh, then we'll remove this screw in top of the sight mount and so you can see with my thumb I'm just kind of pushing down on the sight mount. Uh, reason being there's a small spring underneath of here. So I'm going to take this screw out and then as I lift the rear sight up and I tip it over you can see there's that little spring right there so I'd recommend if you've got that spare parts bag that came with your GK1 put these two guys in there so you don't lose track of them in case you ever want to bring this back to uh, stock or OEM I should say uh, next thing you'll need for removal of the rear sight is just that small flat bladed screwdriver and for that, uh, I just, uh, you know, tip it on the side and just kind of pull the, you know, mount or the sight out a little bit and then just unscrew it. And then once you get that loose, you can pull that screw out. And again, all these parts I end up putting in the spare parts bag that came with my GK1. And then you can see here we've got the rear sight, so that pops off real nice and easy. And there's also a little spring in there as well. So again, recommend put all these parts that you're pulling off uh, in the spare parts bag that came with your GK1. Now for the installation of the Unimount, real simple. So grab the Unimount, grab that countersunk screw that was with it as well. Uh, I like to just kind of 
pre-thread or, you know, place the countersunk screw in the mount itself. Grab your GK1 and, you know, just kind of center that right over top of the screw hole in the rear sight mount itself. Grab your two millimeter hex driver and just tighten this guy down. So not much to it. Um, you know, I go so it's stiff and, you know, stiff when you're trying to turn it. Uh, you don't need to go Hercules on this as far as that's concerned. And you can see it's a very solid design. So, you know, there's no give, uh, you know, no flex to it. And then uh, if I can find where I stuck an RMR optic, you can see, whoop, lost the screw. Once you have that, this just goes right on the top. And then I can secure my optic. And if I knew where that other screw went, I would show you that as well. But for right now, we'll just have the one screw in there. And you can see the installation of your Unimount is complete. Um, so yeah, that was really the intent of today's video. Uh, just show you the brand new optics mount that we have from Huben 3D Parts. Run through the installation. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to put any questions or comments below. Uh, or feel free to reach out as well at Huben3DParts at gmail.com. Other than that, thanks for stopping by.